Hi everybody and welcome to another video. I'm Caroline at Creative Tints and it is time for a completed pages video for May. I will also talk about my coloring hashtags at the end of the video, but first let's go through the pages. So I'm gonna start in Luna. I have a page in here which is this page that I've been wanting to do for quite some time and I finally did it. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I think it turned out quite sweet, cute. And I really like the color combination. It's a bit unusual for what I usually do, but I really like it. So I might use colors like these again. I think I just expanded my horizon color-wise, so that's good. <laughs> so I used mostly pencil here and also ink tents on the purple flowers and these yellow brownish leaves right there. I also used some Artex acrylic marker on this frame right here. It's a beautiful lavender color. I really like that. I never tried it until this page, so yeah, I love that. And then I also used it on the clouds just to uh, cover the black lines. So that is everything I use here. I really love this page. Next up, we got Tales from the Witch's Cottage. I started out with just doing this small front page. So in the background, I use ink tents, just one color. And then the blue is pencil. The leaves are ink tents, also the lid hair. And yeah, that is it. Oh, and white Posca, just to, you don't see it very well, but it's supposed to create that reflection effect. And then I did another page, this one. <clears throat> So this took me a while. It's uh, a lot of pencil work here. Um, the house, the roof here is pencil. Ink tents for the fence, the door, and the green gate and around the windows here. And also on the trees, the green here, which is two different greens. For the sky, I use Distress Ink with a stencil, a cloud stencil. And then I use some white Posca on the curtains inside the window, just to make the curtains a little bit more cottagey, I guess. <laughs> and then on the small details here, I use gel pen, a glitter gel pen. And it's a beautiful kind of copper brown color. It's a uh, chromatech. They have some really beautiful colors. And then also I covered the stars a little bit with gel jelly roll gel pen. So a teeny tiny bit of sparkle, but not too much. I wanted to keep it quite a rustic feel, so I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And then we're heading to Europe for one page here. And it's this one. Quite a cutesy page. <laughs> but I like it. I like the way it turned out. And I also tried a new technique for background. Um, so I used Distress Ink with, with this tool, 
So I just pressed it down and twisted. I made sure to keep it in one place so the circle's quite sharp. So I use polychromos here for pencil uh, on the fountain mostly and the light here, the street light, and also the flowers. I also used some Brutferner macarons on the balloons. That's all the macaron pencils. A little bit of acrylic marker just on this green line here. And as I mentioned, Distress Ink for the bubble background, I guess you can call it. Some white Posca on some bubbles. And I used the Uniball Signo, two different colors on the little dots in the water here. And then some silver Posca on some details on the fountain and the lower part of the page. And that is it for this one. Then I have one in this book, which is this one. I'm quite happy with this and how it turned out. I don't, I'm not sure about the color of the jacket. Didn't turn out exactly the way I envisioned it, I guess. I don't know. I tried it on the color combination before. I tried it on a paper before. Um, and I'm, I was quite happy with it then. But I don't know how I feel about it combi combined with the other elements on this page. But I love the color combination that I managed to do on the pairs. It's a combination of three colors. So the pairs are polychromos. The leaves are ink tens. The jacket is Brute Fooner. And the background is Distress Ink with a bubble stencil. And I really love the background here. I think it works really great with the other green elements here. So I'm mostly happy with the background. Next up, we're in Universe. And this one. A bit of sparkle here. <laughs> So I did watercolor pencils for the flowers, ink tents on the green leaves, pencil on the branches and on the bird. I really love the color combination here. It's very subtle brown, but I think it works in combination with all the other colors here. White Posca on the edges of the flowers. Some gel pens on the little tiny stars and circles, and distress ink for the background. And then I finished it off with some stickles on top of the flowers. So I really like the way this turned out. Then we got this one. Now this page is a buddy color, but my coloring buddy has not finished hers yet. But I decided to show it anyway since I did this in May. So a lot of different mediums on this page. There's some watercolor pencil here on this round here. 
and also on the leaves, the bright green. I use Brutferner macarons on the fishes and on these little details right here and on these little circly things. <laughs> Some ink tents on the leaves and the bluish turquoise background is also watercolor pencils. I use some Uniball Signal Gold on some details on the fishes. And the bubbles here is with Folk Art Extreme Sheen Aquamarine, which I think looks really good on this page. And then I have this book and a page in here, which is this one. I'm not overly excited about this one, but it's okay. You can never go too wrong with the cute mouse like that, so it's all right. <laughs> so a lot of ink tents here on the flowers and the background, the mushroom itself. Also the flowers here, the leaves, the straw here, and then a lot of polychromos on this yellow here and on the stone. And I really like the color combination that I managed to do on the stone here and here, which is a greenish, brown, yellowish type of color. <laughs> And then to add a little bit of extra, I used the Uniball Signal Gold here as well on some details on the blue flowers and on the top here. Next up is a buddy color that I did with the very nice and talented Emma from colors and collage with M's. You can check her out on Instagram. She does a lot of cool work. She's really talented and I had a lot of fun doing this with her. I'll add her image here as well so you can check that out. She did a really fun collage with Sesame Street on the movie screen which I thought was hilarious. It was a really good idea. It's quite the contrast between Sesame Street and horror movies, so <laughs> really funny. So what I did mostly here is alcohol markers. Basically everything. And then on top, I use pencil on some places, like on the bushes and in the sky just to create a little bit of more more of a dimension and then I also added some fine liner just dotted a little bit to create a little bit more detail on the gravel here and the bushes it's also over here And I'm a big fan of the Scream franchise, so I am a little bit of a nerd about it. So I went on YouTube to check the actual movie scene and figure out what color the killer originally used in the movie. Which was a leather jacket, brownish leather jacket, so... I tried to copy the exact color that they use in the actual movie. So maybe that's interesting just for me. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm fairly happy with the way that turned out. So yeah, this was a lot of fun. 
And thank you for doing it with me, Emma. I really appreciate it. And then the last one is Entangled Creative Haven Book. So I wanted to experiment with my new acrylic markers. So I just did an entire page with acrylic markers only. And this is the way it turned out. It gives quite a matte look, acrylic markers, which I really like. I think that looks really good. Quite happy with the combination of colors here. A lot of purples and pinks, some yellows. And then I dotted on some places here just to add a little bit of extra detail. That is also acrylic marker. So that's the way that turned out. Now that was all of my pages for May. And I want to quickly talk about the coloring hashtags I got going on on Instagram. I have one that lasts until the end of the year. And I also have one monthly. Where I change to a new theme every month. If you would like to check that out, you can go on my Instagram at Creative Tints for more info. And you are very welcome to try it out. So far I've seen so many beautiful pages through these tags. And I post all of them in my story. And if you want to see all these beautiful pages, you can go to my profile and click on the highlights which is marked with the different tags. There's a lot of pretty pages to check out there. So, And I want to thank everyone who is participating in my tags. I didn't expect so many to use my tags so early on. So thank you. It's, it's a lot of fun. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.